Hi Libra, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for your patience. I really, really appreciate it. My son hasn't been feeling well, so just been running around trying to get him together. But um, today's a new day. He's feeling a little bit better. So let's see Libra, what's going on with you guys. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Remember to flip and switch the roles. Could be talking about someone else in your energy. And also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit, okay? Let's see Libra. What's going on with you guys? What's going on with Libra Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node for Libra? Make sure you guys check out the description box below. So something about your health. Some of you guys could need to go see a doctor. Health wanted to come out. Um, make sure you guys check out the description box below. My PO box is down there just in case you guys want to send something. And also um, the name of the decks that I'm using for your spread today are going to be down there as well. Let's see. For Libra. All right, bottom of the deck, we have uncertainty, number 56. People may be playing mind games with you or leaving out information on purpose, which could lead to confusion and frustration. Be smart and decide if it's worth playing back. Okay, all right. I'm getting seven of cups energy, so a lot of illusions here. A lot of maybe you're not seeing something clear about someone around you or something around you. All right, so we have teach, number 76. You'll one day share your story with others. You have power and a lot more than you realize. Speaking up about your experiences and about what's important to you is a way to create change. So some of you guys could have been uncertain about uh, something here because some of you guys are supposed to be leaders, entrepreneurs or something like that. You could be a teacher of some sort. All right, but some of you guys have been uncertain about if you want to take that route, if you want to be an entrepreneur or if you want to start something, but I feel like you you should, Okay. Um, some of you guys could be needing to speak out, like be a motivational speaker or something like that, because you have a very strong, uh, a very, a very uh, powerful story that you should uh, that you should speak about. It can help the next person, you know. But let's see what else for Libra. Let's see. So we have inner child. Number 22, you guys could be saying 222 two, two, or somebody could be the age 22. It says you're ready to bring that inner child spirit out and open yourself up to new adventures. You'll realize that you don't have to take life so seriously. There's still plenty of fun to be had. Okay. Bottom of the deck is signs. All right. We're, okay. So let's, let's clarify these. Let's see what's going on with you, Libra. Some of you guys are doing a lot of inner child healing. Right, doing things that make you happy and healing wounds from your childhood or something here that needs to be healed from your childhood, right? In your adult life now. It could be affecting your adult life. All right. There's uncertainty here. Nine eleven on the clock. You guys can be seeing those numbers. What's uncertainty for Libra? The lovers, Gemini energy. You could be dealing with the Gemini or have Gemini in your chart. So balance, duality, sexuality. Some of you guys are uncertain about your sexual preference, okay? Or, yeah, your sexuality. Maybe you're not comfortable in your sexuality. I'm getting somebody not really being comfortable with themselves, okay? Whether it be you or somebody else. Flip and switch it, right? There could be some uncertainty around a connection or a relationship. Yeah, somebody seems stuck or something has, shift, has shifted your perspective here about somebody. What's uncertainty or something nine of pentacles so freedom your singlehood here some of you guys are uncertain about what you want to do for work but whatever like i said whatever you're uncertain about is definitely going to bring about financial security with the nine of pentacles or this could be taurus virgo capricorn somebody you're dating maybe libra but the nine of pentacles talks about abundance wealth somebody here could be seen in a public eye too yeah somebody could be a healer or a um a psychic, right? Somebody can do tarot readings. K 
King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, the Devil. Huh, there's something. Uh, somebody has codependency issues, or they could be very, they could be quite obsessive here. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Somebody around you, a Queen of Cups. Wow. Let's see. What's uncertainty with the Nine of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Hold on. Okay, sorry guys. So, um, wow, there's some money coming in. I don't know. There is something really big coming in as far as uh financial financial wise. Somebody's getting that money. <laughs> Somebody is in their bag. Somebody's really independent, very self reliant, very responsible. Or right, somebody's really good at managing their finances too. Something, something about something in your bloodline or your ancestral. Somebody here is building a legacy of some sort, right? There could be something going on with family. Let's see. What's uncertainty? Some of you guys could be uncertain about if you want to marry somebody or not or uh, be with someone. Okay, five of cups. Yeah, there's something here. All right, let's see. Something is quite disappointing or sad or saddening here. Okay, some of you guys are choosing to be single, maybe. I don't know. It's like, it's like, I don't know. Let's see. What's the nine of cups? I mean, nine of pentacles. There's somebody. Okay, the hangman. So whoever this nine of pentacles is, is like stuck. They're the ones uncertain. Or this is you. Pisces energy. There's a shift in perspective about something. Somebody's being enlightened here. Somebody is being enlightened about something, uh, Libra, this is you. But it's like a stuck energy as well. It's like you're seeing something. There's something here that you need to release or somebody needs to release something here. There's there's a release of something, but it's it's for someone's highest good, whether it be you or this person, there's, there needs to be some type of release and letting go of. Because it's causing stagnancy or holding something up in someone else's life, yours or theirs, right? Flip and switch it. But, hmm. What's the Ten of Pentacles? The Tower. Scorpio Aries energy. Some of you guys are breaking free from a family dynamic or a family situation here. Something is... What's this, what's this Tower? Scorpio Aries energy. What's the Tower? The Four of Wands. Wow. You guys could be seeing 444 with the four swords right here. Uh, for some of you, there's a... Some of you guys are building a legacy here. You're building something that is meant to take off. This is good here. There's some, some type of reuniting of some sort that's happening. You could be reuniting with someone or somebody wants to reunite with you. There's something going on within a family dynamic as well. Something about a marriage or a family. That shit is falling apart and somebody's moving on. Uh, something here is happening with this tower. Something is falling apart. Is meant to fall apart here. Never meant to cause you trouble. Never meant to cause you pain. I never knew it play out this way. Uh. Love me again, and you might change your mind. You might not feel the same, might not love me again. Uh, somebody here is scared about somebody not loving them here, or some, somebody wants to reunite with you, Libra, but they're scared. Maybe they, they feel like you released them. I feel like there's something else going on here, though. There's something good coming in, especially with your stability, your finances. There's something that's really taking off for somebody. All right, some of y'all could be getting a new place, a new home. Some of y'all could even be getting married. Something is happening out of the blue, though. Somebody's getting their Ten of Pentacles. Right out the blue. You do by division is on. I know my science. I know my chemistry. There is something metaphysical going on. Some of you guys could be into metaphysics, so you could be very spiritual is what I'm getting with that automatically. 
right? You could be, it says, I know that things can be pulled together right out the blue, right out the blue. Yeah, something, we both know what it is between us two, between me and you. There's something here coming out of the blue with the tower it is, and it's a good tower, whatever it is for somebody, I don't know. Let's see. What's the um five of cups? This the moon. Some of you guys are grieving something in secret. There's something that you're grieving or trying to let go in secret here. Could be dealing with the cancer. Somebody's in their feelings, in their emotions about something, or emotions are running really high. This this uh blood moon is um crazy. <laughs> But let's see, what's the Five of Cups with the moon? There's something here that's saddening or hurtful to somebody, disappointing. All right, Libra energy, that's you. Five of, I mean, the uh, with the Three of Swords. Could be dealing with another Libra, I'm, I don't know. Hmm. For some of you, there is a breakup here. Somebody's breaking up with someone and becoming single. Because somebody here needs to release somebody. There's a need to do this in order to get to... In order to get to the Ten of Pentacles and the celebration or whatever the fuck this is. Some of y'all have a lot of family time coming up. But something is falling apart in order for something to come together like how it's supposed to. And I feel like it's going to bring about a lot of sadness or heartbreak or hurt or something like that. All right. I feel like whatever this is too is going to bring out the shadow side of somebody. Somebody's shadow side is going to come out or it's going to, you're going to have to heal from whatever this is, right? And it's going to bring about your shadow side, you know, maybe codependency or maybe like a, your temper or something like that is going to shift. Because there's something that somebody's not going to like too much. Somebody is in fear about something. There's fear, anxiety or... There's something. What's the moon right here with the three of swords? They're scared about this breakup or the nine of cups. Yeah, because you're their wish fulfillment. But it's burdening. Yeah, something is burdening someone else. With the ten of wands, you guys could be saying ten ten. So something here is ending or has ended. Someone here could be quite selfish as well. Somebody is like quite selfish. All right. Um, what's this moon? What's this nine of cups representing? What is this? I always get selfish. Yeah, Six of Swords. I feel like somebody is quite selfish. All right. Um, somebody is being fulfilled, but somebody else is not. That's why it's like somebody's moving on. Because it's like there's a there's not there's something that's not fulfilling someone. And a person that's being fulfilled is going to take it hard. Because they're going to be like, well, I thought. Or I, I thought we, you know, da, 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 da. But it's like... I don't know. It's, it's something weird here. But the Six of Swords is definitely moving things to calmer waters. Is move. Some of you guys could be relocating. You're moving. You could be going on travel. There could be a wish fulfillment coming in for somebody. So there is a need to move on from something that's not fulfilling is what I'm getting. All right. That's definitely this moon. It could be around this moon. This moon is going to bring that out. Definitely whatever's not in alignment is going to have to go. You know, so uh, mm, what's this teach card? Some of you guys could have a lot of fans or supporters. You're getting a big increase in your supporters and fans. So I don't know what that is. What's this teach card? Page of Cups. So you're teaching somebody here. You could, you could be teaching somebody that's a little bit younger than you. They can have a problem exp expressing their emotions. Somebody here wants to tell you something, uh, Libra. Or this is, I don't know who this is. Somebody is an artist or they're very artistic. They, they're very creative, whoever this page of cups is. Your inner voice could be telling you something. There could be communication coming in through like uh, online or you could be doing something online. Some of y'all could be psychic here. You don't, maybe you don't know that you're psychic or you're just now seeing that you're psychic. Okay, I'm getting the energy too, right? There's something here that, that's been taught to you 
Okay, maybe somebody came in your life to teach you something and now it's time to move forward from something. Okay, maybe somebody here is not meant to stick around. So I feel like somebody is learning something from someone, but the time is up for something. Yeah, the world, there's something that's been closed. Okay, what's teach with the page of cups? The Empress in reverse. I'm hearing something about breaking generational curses. For some of you, the one by Alina Baraz and Jada is on. So, yeah, somebody's rebelling against something that you're teaching. Somebody's not getting it or not getting the memo. So, I, I don't know. Something deep going on here, Libra. It could be dealing with the Taurus. There could be a connection here. You could be married to somebody or in a commitment with somebody, but there's this empress in reverse. Somebody here is a distorted feminine. This could be your mom. This could be um, some ex of yours around or something like that or something that's in competition with whoever the fuck this is. Somebody's like in competition with you or your person. All right, let's see. What's teach with the page of cups, the empress in reverse? That's you, Libra, the empress in reverse. There's something distorted about, yeah, two of swords. Like somebody can't see something clearly or somebody's off out of whack or off balance. All right, somebody here could be hiding something from you as well. There's a major decision or a major choice you have to make. There could be like a lot of anxiety around this. Uh Somebody's heart space is closed or they're, they're denying or in denial about something or something like that. It's like you don't have all the answers to something here. Something is supposed to teach you a lesson or you're supposed to be teaching somebody something. But I don't know if they're in denial or don't want to learn it or something like that. It's like, I feel like you're over it. What's, um, what's the page of cups? The eight of cups. Yeah, you're walking away from somebody's ass. There's somebody here that you're walking away from because there's, it's okay. Um, emotionally, I feel like somebody is not fulfilled. So somebody is walking away or there's, there needs to be a time of introspection, self-discovery or something like that. Because somebody is a bit immature with their emotions, okay, is what I'm getting. So there, there could be a lesson here to teach you how to become more emotionally mature. So maybe like if there is codependency or uh, abandonment wounds that are coming up, anything involving your emotions, they're going to be brought to the surface in order for you to heal them. Some of you guys are trying to hide the fact that this needs to be healed. All right. And it could have something to do. Some of you guys are healing mother wounds. Something about your childhood. Yeah. Inner child. Something is... Somebody here is a psychic. Somebody can feel that that's what you're hiding or that's what they're hiding or something like that is 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 in the way of something, right? What's the Empress in reverse? I'm getting a very deep. This is a deep reading. What's the Okay, the lovers. Gemini energy, yeah, the devil. Somebody has a toxic relationship either to a karmic, could be a karmic mother. All right, uh Hmm. I'm getting a lot of messages. Something here is not manifesting or somebody's trying to create something that can't be created, right? With the Empress in reverse, something is not going to manifest how you thought it was. Or this is for somebody else, right? But something here is cannot, it's not working. What's the lovers here? There could be a major decision you're having to make, Libra, because I feel like you're out of balance right now. You feel off or somebody else is. What's the, what's the lovers? To come back into balance. Because I feel like when you're, I don't know, when you're with somebody, it could it could feel like very distorted or very confusing. Or there's something that you're, you don't see about somebody. Which is causing an imbalance in your life. What's the lovers? There's some type of connection. What's the, yeah, the four of swords. You're thinking about this too. There's somebody that's thinking about this. It's something that's off. You could be having dreams or getting signs. Yeah, signs bottom of the deck. Okay, with the four swords, or maybe you're needing to meditate about this, or you have thought about it, you meditated, but something gives you anxiety. I don't know. It's like you're stressed about whatever this is.
I feel like there's something that's throwing you out of alignment, right? So there, there could be something that you're needing to either heal and stop trying to put to the side because it's coming up anyways. Or there's a connection here that's like throwing you off. And I feel like you're thinking about it. And I feel like you know what it is. Whatever it is that's going on. Some of y'all have a major decision. Maybe it's between two people or between two things. Okay, so something could be taking you out of your feminine energy too. Somebody is inexperienced. With the Page of Cups, this is giving me inexperience. You have to teach somebody. That's what this is. And I feel like it's not helping you though. This this is not... Okay. Yeah, so... Something is throwing you out of alignment because somebody you're... It could be somebody you're dating or you're with is like inexperienced. And I feel like you're trying to figure out if this is what you want. All right, because I feel, I feel like it could have something to do with sex here, with the lovers, that sexuality. That's It talks about duality, balance, a soulmate that's here. So this could be your soulmate or for some of y'all, this is what you're dealing with, going through with your mama or somebody. I don't know. They could be a bit distorted, very uh, mean or very, um, they lack empathy and compassion or something like that. There's something that's going against your values as well, uh, Libra, or your, um, I don't know, something off about this. But you're thinking about, I feel like you know what it is, but can't really put it into words. It's confusing you or distorting your view of things. I feel like, um, I feel like you have to limit yourself because somebody is, and experience it's like you have to take a step down a notch or level down and i feel like that's the issue and there's nothing wrong with teaching somebody but maybe i, I don't know if this if you're dating this person and they just are i don't know they're too immature in a sense with something i don't know if their emotion sex is here with the lovers or something like that is happening i feel like you're thinking about it or you could be dealing with a, a mature woman like in age but they're immature mentally emotionally like they're just very immature they're childish so you could be walking away Right. Or you're needing to walk away to teach this person something because they're not they're not getting it in some sense. You know, so it could be either story. What's the two of swords? Very interesting. King of Cups. Who's this King of Cups? Six of Pentacles wanted to come out in reverse. Let me see one more for this king of cups for some of you let's see okay yeah king of wands okay all right so in reverse <clears throat> somebody here could need financial support right whoever this is can need financial support and they're expecting you to give them money or you've been helping this person out i feel like in a sense you know, I'm getting a weird energy too, Libra. Somebody is married to their own fucking mother. I feel like this, this whoever this mother figure is, it's like they look at... So you could be a Libra man watching or you could... However the story is going, right? This mother energy is very codependent on this masculine is what I'm getting. Somebody's very codependent and there's a connection here that's in the way or something like that. There needs to be boundaries being set here. Somebody is not confident enough to do this though. They're not confident enough to take the lead. With the King of Wands in reverse, somebody's not assertive enough, and that's block that's causing blockages somewhere. Somebody, yeah, the King of Wands in reverse talks about somebody that could be a bit bitter and yeah, weak. Somebody here is weak-minded, or they their emotions are tied into something that they need to think logically about. Because this is getting in the way of something. That's what this is giving me. There's some type of help that's being given to somebody. It could be money, or I don't know if you're taking care of somebody, or somebody's taking care of you. Somebody could need help financially. What could be causing a setback in something here with someone else? Somebody is very, um, I, I still feel like somebody's immature. There could be somebody here that you're dealing with that's very immature as far as um, being a leader, taking a lead in their life, really um, doing things that make them happy, standing up for themselves. The King of Wands is somebody that's assertive, they're bold, they're confident. So somebody here could have insecurity issues around this situation. That's what this is. And I feel like it's um, causing you or causing your person to feel depleted energetically it might not be seen 3d but energetically this is what's causing a blockage you know energy is a real thing i mean i'm quite sure if you watch tarot you know that so 
this this shit this is messy here so there, there's going to be a blow up of some sort somebody is going to get tired of the shit that's what this is somebody's going to get really fed up and move the fuck on you know that's just what i'm seeing king of wands in reverse yeah somebody needs to take action and they're not they're not confident enough to do it they're insecure because their emotions are tied up in something and that's what's confusing them their heart and their head is in two different places okay and they need to be on the same page what's inner child wow what's inner child page of wands yes yeah, so it's something new exciting adventure page of wands you could you guys could be getting some good news about something or from someone it could be it could be coming in via text phone call email something but page of wands <laughs> is uh feeling excited feeling enthusiastic could be you're working on a creative project something here that heals your inner child what's um inner child with the page of wands okay yeah the temperance sagittarius energy came out in reverse I got a weird feeling in my stomach. I don't know what this is. Um, the temperance talks about being impatient. It talks about having being hasty. Okay. Um, somebody is really self indulged. Somebody is too indulged. I'm just, I just keep getting a selfish energy from somebody. Temperance in reverse is definitely somebody that's an antagonist as well as just something being out of balance. You're 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 experiencing some type of discord with someone or disconnect or you're disconnecting from someone what's inner child or you're disconnected from your inner child that's what needs to be healed there's something toxic here yeah the hermit and the devil and the ace of cups i feel like it's around your heart space around your love life there's something here that's toxic that's not in that's imbalanced something that's off that needs to be healed either this is you or somebody else what else for inner child one more somebody yeah the hierophant taurus energy there's a lesson here about something with the hierophant. This is somebody that's a leader. They're in a position of authority. So somebody here is, is teaching you some type of lesson here. Or you're teaching somebody a lesson about something in particular. It could be about around commitment, relationships. Learning how to stand your ground is what I'm getting to. Set boundaries. Something about your values, your morals, your integrity as well with the hierophant. Let's see, what's what's the page of wands? Some of y'all could be getting um, a letter coming in from an institution of some sort or something like that. What's the page of wands? The cherry, yeah, this is moving on. Cancer energy moving forward, fortitude, pushing through obstacles here. Some of y'all could have always wanted to be a police officer. Shit, I mean, we need better ones. So if you're thinking about it, I feel like go ahead. <laughs> Somebody could be uh, in training for being a police officer. All right, so good luck there. But somebody somebody could be working on cars or works on cars or something could have happened to a car. Something about, let me see, what's the chariot? Somebody's name could be Char, Charlene, Charnice. That's pretty. Seven of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be getting your car fixed or something like that. Somebody could be having car problems. You're getting good news about that. Maybe you don't have to pay much, okay, or something like that. Because you invested a lot into this car, so, all right, which is good. But some of y'all could be going on a road trip here. You're trying to figure out if you have enough money for it. Or you could be waiting and seeing. But this talks about, the Seven of Pentacles talks about evaluating something, second-guessing something, looking into something. This could talk about self-evaluation, introspection as well. We got three cards here of that. Well, two. The Eight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. There's something here that needs to be waited on. You're trying to have patience for something. Or you're yeah, you're waiting on something, but it's it's coming in. It looks like you're getting good news about something. I don't know if it's about a vehicle or um somewhere that you're going or whatever the fuck, right? 
And your hard work is definitely going to pay off too. Whatever this is, if you move forward with it, it's definitely going to bring out a side of you that's, it's going to bring that passion out of you. Something here that you're passionate about doing. Finally, I feel like it's coming in. So whoever this is in this King of Wands energy needs to take the lead. They're not taking the lead in something where they're scared about it. But I feel like they are eventually. Or something like that. What's, what's the temperance in reverse? I'm hearing something about addiction. Somebody could have addictions around you or you could have an addiction that could be in the way. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Something is moving hella slow. What's the temperance in reverse with the Knight of Pentacles? Two of Wands making some type of decision. I'm hearing something about being incompatible. You could be incompatible with somebody. Something is slowing down someone's progress. It's like something is slowing down your money or your... I, I don't know. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands here with the King of Wands in reverse. So I'm getting... Somebody here cares about you. But they're not, they're not assertive enough or something like that. There's something here. I feel like somebody is has found their passion in life or somebody's on a track to do something in their life or somebody here is okay the queen of wands the king of wands in reverse could be somebody that's boring i feel like somebody cares about you but they could be a bit boring they could be a bit childish somebody's childish but they're really good with handling their emotions that's a good thing apart a uh, good thing about this person they're really good with handling their emotions but when it comes down to that fire that oomph somebody is lacking that here and i don't know if it's because there's something going on with with a mother figure or something like that somebody's just not they're not okay they have some healing to do is what i'm getting all right because you're out of alignment with somebody some of y'all have to make a choice between two and somebody here is a better offer for you as well. That's what I'm getting to. Definitely could be saying two, two, two. What child? Two of Wands. Trying to make a, de a decision, a choice. Because, yeah, you're off balance. There's something that's knocking you off balance. Or this is your person. Flip it, switch it. But something is slow to come in because it's something that's just not in alignment with this temperance in reverse. This is a lesson. Some of you guys are being tested here about something or someone. What's the Hierophant? Your hard work is going to pay off, though, but I feel like you're going to have a falling out. Or you're clashing with somebody. You're not seeing eye to eye with them, and it's really dampering you. I feel like somebody is, uh, y'all just out of alignment, just period. What's the Hierophant? The Hierophant, um, there could be a commitment. Okay, to justice. Something could definitely be going on in court here. And I feel like your hard work is paying off. You could be waiting for something to happen in court for somebody or for you. This is you, Libra, with the justice. So definitely karma is playing out. This is a karmic event. Something is playing out here. This is somebody's karma. Whatever this is that's about to happen or whatever that's going on here, this is somebody's karma. Somebody could be getting in trouble with the law. All right, so really be careful. It could be something going on with your car or you could have something in your car. Definitely be careful, okay, because you could be getting in trouble. All right, just saying. But... Let's see, something is balancing out. Something's going to be made fair, right? Somebody's a teacher. Somebody is karma. So whoever you're with or whatever's going on here, they're teaching you a lesson about something. And they're also learning something too. I just feel like they are... There's somebody here that's like an earth angel that comes into people's lives and teaches them things and transforms them and then leaves. <laughs> You know, I'm getting somebody is very much so. It could be you, Libra. You're teaching somebody something or it could be a Taurus or something like that. What? What's? Because that's what they're supposed to be doing. That's their job here on this earth to teach people and transform their lives. And then that's a part of their journey, their path, just like you have a path. But some people come in your life, obviously, to teach you something. Somebody around you too, Libra, could be doing spell work. So you need to be mindful of that too. Somebody around you could definitely be doing spell work. What's what's the hierophant right here with the justice? Some of you guys could be thinking about eloping or getting married. Yeah, the four of cups. Yeah, it's going to bring about discontentment. Somebody's going to be unhappy here. Whatever this lesson is, it's not going to be... I feel like somebody... I keep getting a boring energy. I got that shit for Pisces too. What's this four of cups about? There's, there's going to be some type of, yeah, nine of swords. Some type of missed opportunity is here. 
there's something somebody is missing out on an opportunity because of something from their past that they're discontent with anyway but they won't take action to fix it they're not taking enough action or they're not doing something to fix it all right yeah there's like competition here there's somebody trying to get in the way of a love offer or somebody that you're in love with or somebody trying to get in the way of a commitment which is causing a, a bit of like a stagnancy but this is karma for somebody somebody needs to learn how to set boundaries somebody is not setting boundaries or something like that something like that is going on child i don't know what the hell this is libra but let's let's pull from here really quick what's going on for libra spirit Sun, Moon, and venus north node clarify this spread somebody feels ignored because you're in a commitment but this is their karma so you need to be careful about getting involved with someone that's going through karma or that's going to get their karma this person it could be in trouble legally but then they need your help or something like that and i feel like you're trying to like i don't know what you're trying to do you're trying to build somewhere else or you're trying to do something else but somebody is like has some type of hold on you it's toxic as fuck this person is getting in the way of everything and this is going to be karma because i feel like somebody's going to get fed up and leave you, whoever this is doesn't have to deal with whoever you're dealing with on the side or whoever they're dealing with you don't have to deal with them or whatever you know, somebody is, is too advanced here to be dealing with some bullshit. They've excelled that that lesson. That lesson has already been learned in somebody's life. So now this person could be coming in your life to teach you a lesson that you need to get or that they need to get maybe from you, Libra. And, um, you know, move forward because some things ain't meant to last. I feel like, you know, that's just how life is. Okay. Okay, let's look at that. <laughs> I'm tripping. What's going on for Libra spirit? Clarify the spirit. This came out. So it says risk it all. Leap of faith, no regrets, new endeavors. Yeah, so there's a risk or there's something that somebody's going to take. There's a risk that somebody's going to take. It's new and exciting. Hmm. I feel like things could be a bit cloudy. You can't really see too much, but it's bringing about a happy outcome though, right? I don't know what this is. What else for Libra? Bougie. Rich mindset, financial freedom, high class. Detox, triggered. Somebody around you could be very money hungry or very much so focused on their finances. All right, let's see. What, what's this bougie card right here? Somebody, mm -hmm. Somebody is selfish, they're greedy as fuck. I don't know if this person is hiding money or they have money, but they're just not sharing it with you or they're doing the bare minimum. So we have hold up, pause, repeat again, delay. Yeah, it's one flame cuffed. Mm. Wait, pause, repeat again, delay. What's this bougie with this hold up? Somebody here had to get their finances together. So we have no filter. Brutally honest, straightforward, face value. Yeah, fraud. Somebody is around you that's a fraud or somebody's like, I don't know, what the fuck? Take an L, loss, setback, failure. Or around this person is. Let's see, what else? So there's some brutal honesty coming towards you. Somebody's going to be straightforward about something. Okay, I don't know what the fuck that is. It's going to hurt too with these prickly things on this damn a cactus. <laughs> it's not going to be too cute or pretty. But it's going to push you forward. Some things are just, I don't know, Libra. The Rona. Infected, unprotected disease. So what the fuck? Who is that? It's a no for me. Reconsider, not now, won't work, swerve. child it's a lot going on here somebody could have found out somebody gave them something or somebody has they're sick it doesn't have to be std it could just mean that they have the rona like i said <laughs> so we have body yaddy gaining weight physical changes self-love somebody you're gonna have a really nice body okay bay boo thing new love flirting what's bay fake woke 
hypocritical arterial to arterial motives and talk in circles. Huh. What's this babe with this fake woke? So there's somebody you're dating that's either they're not as ascended as you are. Sneaky link. Side piece on the low one night. Mm. Be right back, boy. For some of you, there's somebody that you left behind, right? They they got with uh, somebody that was fake woke, a fake spiritualist, and they were they were just a sneaky link or they treated you like a sneaky link. And now they could be trying to come back. There was a lesson that this person had to learn. And then I'm still getting an energy of, like I was saying throughout your reading. So I'm getting that now with these cards coming out. Whoever they were dating, they were fake woke. Ooh wee. <laughs> this is crazy. So this was your reading, Libra. Let me know how it resonated. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.